Randall McDaniel, thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate you, Randall, for that, man. He says, tell me about Jonathan Hankins. Mario Ed Edwards upgrade. Good locker room guy who eats blocks. PFF grade. Think he makes the team? I do think he makes the team because I do think that they end up having Draymond is kind of considered as a de facto edge. And so you end up with three nose tackles and three, three techs kind of, and how you kind of play this out. He's getting older as a player. And definitely you're seeing in, in uh, his play that it's not the same level of play that he's been at before. He was the 89th rated defensive tackle by PFF last year, 32 years of age, not quite the player he was. I don't know if this is an upgrade even over Mario Edwards, to be honest with you. I think Mario probably gives you better play than what this guy gave you. And when you look at him through the years, I mean, it's it's really hard to find much optimism here with him this year as far as thinking that there's still something left where you go back from, you know, 2013, looking at his scores here, and you can kind of see 78, 82, 78, dips down to 63 in 2016, gets back to almost 80 in 2017, and then it's 63, 63, 61, 46, 48. 53. He's kind of getting down to the end of the line here. Now, Dirty, the defensive coordinator for us here, definitely had some Randall input in on this one and saying, hey, he can come in and be your, your nose tackle, can come in for some snaps and help you out down there. Can you run him for 40, 50 snaps a game? No. Can you run him for 15 to 20 snaps a game and he provides you good run defense in that role? Maybe. I think Randall, as much as anything, it's a bit of insurance for Cam Young. If Cam Young cannot come forward and develop this year into year two, you have Hankins there who can come in then and, and be the number two guy behind Jaron Reed in the nose tackle role. I end up thinking you probably carry all three. So it, it becomes uh, Jaron Reed, Han Hankins, Young, and then you've got uh, Williams, Murphy, Mike Morris, and technically Draymond Jones becomes a de facto edge defensive tackle splits between the two. So there's an outside chance he doesn't make the team if the, if they just feel good enough about how Cam Young has done Randall and that he's developed enough to where he's solidly and there's the number two and they don't need the third guy. I think they end up carrying him kind of no matter what, but I just don't think he's got much to offer at this point. He's never really given you much as a pass rusher. His claim to fame has been as a run defender, yet he wasn't even able or hasn't been even able to carve out league average run defense scores from PFF over the last couple of years. And watching him on the tape, there's nothing he's really doing a lot of. He can eat up some blocks because he's, he's a legit 320, 325 guy. So there are times he can hit those, get those two extra blockers, eating them up as a nose tackle. But because he's not as much of a forced defender at this age, there are also times teams are going to be willing to still single, him, single block him up. Now, it's probably a little bit of a, of, of a backward step off Mario. But unlike Mario, where you're going to have him be your number two coming off the bench to Jaron, you're hoping Cam Young is the number two, and then Hankins Randall then gets to be the number three guy in the pecking order. I think that would be the ideal from Seattle's standpoint on this one. 